Yo, what is up YouTube? Kill Cam, back in the saddle of the Victory Gunner, AKA the tank. There is a rumored lockdown tomorrow at five o'clock. It is rumored apparently. South Carolina, there's a lot of states that are currently on lockdown with everything going on. South Carolina is not one of them. Non-essentials have to be closed, which is why my job, I have been furloughed to be transparent with you. So that has equaled more motorcycle time. But I've had a message from somebody in the UK. They are on full lockdown mode. He cannot get on his motorcycle. He can't really go outside unless it's like super essential. I can't even imagine. We are not here just yet. As you can tell, people are still enjoying the outdoors, walking, riding bikes, motorcycles. This is one of those things where, man, we're, we're living through something that they'll probably put in the history books. I've started this new thing on Instagram, at KillKMR6. For any of my subscribers or followers, if you have a car, truck, motorcycle, whatever you think is cool, whatever you're riding, send it to me in my direct messages on Instagram, at KillKMR6 or KillKM on Facebook and I will put it on my either Facebook or I've been using Instagram mostly but I'll put it on Facebook too if a lot of you send it that way as well but send me those photos I'm gonna post it on my Instagram I will give you the tag I'm not worried about not tagging you I'm gonna tag you you'll get your credit for your photo but just I like seeing what you guys ride I had two really clean victory motorcycles they both have the white walls and you can't really see my tires I like my white lettering on my tires i think that gives it that that gunner look that matte green army green that really gives it that appeal i think white walls on this one would still look nice but it wouldn't give it that super super hard feel i guess this gives it that rugged look as in you kind of have a racing tire with just a, a mean paint scheme i like this the white walls on the matte green gutter i don't know i would have to probably see one if you have one send it to me i would love to see that and i also checked some facebook groups today i was i'm in one car group here just to see i like reading what what people post in the areas around me because like i said i'm newer to columbia south carolina that is where i am posted currently i sent in the car group i was like hey let me see if there's any bike groups around here and they showed me one it looks like majority stunt riders but it's a it's a big enough group i feel like every city or town that you're in you're going to be able to find at least one bike page so that was promising even though with everything going on i am down for some group rides and or just small group rides i couldn't imagine being on a full lockdown i think you should be able to ride your motorcycle in the middle of nowhere or if you're driving to get stuff i guess because you're not really bothering anybody and i'm not six feet or breathing anybody's air i feel like i could ride my motorcycle leave it down in the comments what do you think about should you be able to ride your motorcycle or not in these times i love to hear your your viewpoint i've been looking into the new indians and that ftr 1200s looks disgusting i cannot wait to see one of those in person to get my butt cheeks on that bike to give it a test drive if you or you know somebody who has one and you're somewhat nearby and you'd love to ride a victory gunner <laughs> Oh man, that bike looks so clean. Also, leave it down in the comments. What do you think of that bike? The exhaust gives you two different exhaust levels. You can do the high one. I think that high one looks super clean. I was pricing one out on the computer and the girlfriend walked up asking me what I was doing. And I had to be honest, I was looking at a $14,000 <laughs> brand new Indian. It looks so sick though. She didn't blame me. You can't blame me. It just, it was a sick looking bike. Look at that, victory right there, are you joking? Sending it with the bags. That thing was so clean, man. These black gloss victories, they hit. Oh, we got a officer behind us here. If only the cop could do something about that, that would be cool. The drivers here will run those red lights nonstop. Like, I had a, a green arrow, a green light, and you had two cars coming through. That's just, and the cop was behind me, didn't do anything. So that's just like the norm here. It's kind of really weird to say, but I don't know if any of you guys have been in Columbia, but the year and a half that I've been here, it's obvious to me that that's a common theme. But back to that Indian, 13 Gs, 14 Gs. 
it would have to be quick it looks quick but it would have to be quick it's one of those bikes where you see it on paper and you're like okay i dig it i dig it but when it comes to that price point you got to get some seat time you got to give it a test drive and i've always found that a little tricky with motorcycles that a lot of them on the showroom they're not charged they don't have oil they have to go to give them the whole the whole service rundown there's no miles generally on a new motorcycle that i've seen they have a lot of them just unassembled just yet just on the showroom which is cool that's what i like when you when you buy a new bike you'd want a new bike that hasn't been touched yet as far as test riding motorcycles go it's one of those things where i can't imagine what happens if you you drop it or you get in a wreck on one and it's just it's a motorcycle so now it's officially damaged i'm sure they're going to charge you sticker price on that bike i doubt they'd make you just pay for the damages that fourteen thousand asking price i can't imagine that the new r1s are too far off of that so it's kind of like huh which route do you want to go i already have a cruiser so that kind of cancels the the indian plans and i'm not getting rid of the gunner so that just means r1 in my mind if you had fifteen thousand dollars handed to you and you had to buy a motorcycle what would you get new or used all right we're gonna give them a little little pass <laughs> we'll just give them the daily 100 pass it went from a little pass to daily 100 just wanted to say thank you guys for watching please hit that subscribe button like the video for me it really helps on this algorithm stay positive stay healthy stay motivated i will see you next video Kill Cam R6 on Instagram, Kill Cam on Facebook. Y'all take it easy. Kill Cam out.